I've been waiting so long. My prints, my prints are here. I can finally have a shop update. Well, not yet. I still have to wait for my stickers to come in. But at least half of it is here. Wait, there's more. There's more. I've been waiting so long for these to come in. And I also have my October Patreon postcard. Oh my god. They're so cute. And this is the bag. Wow, the colors came out so rich. I'm also very proud of myself. I went to go get an application for a P.O. box. I know a ton of you have been waiting for this, so I'm gonna try to get it soon. Um, I just need to apply for it. So recently, it's still been really, really hot where I live, and I just wanna wear my cute fall outfits, and I wanna wear my chunky sweaters, but I'm always sweating. So the coldest water bottle is really great because it keeps your water super, super, super cold. So on those hot days, you can, you can grab a sip to drink. But also, if it's colder where you live, this also retains heat. So you can have hot water or hot cocoa or whatever. So you get the best of both worlds. So yeah, thank you coldest water bottle for sponsoring this video. I sometimes forget that I have a guillotine and I end up just cutting all of my prints with a ruler and a knife. Ta -da! Now I have to finish cutting the rest of these, but uh, they look so good. And the paper I chose for this is like this really nicely textured paper. It's like a woven material. I don't even know if it shows up on camera. But it's like this nice, it looks like a canvas almost, like a really small tiny canvas. There's a new code in the server. Uh, I got it, okay, I'm winning the game. Wait, I have 550. Oh, I got red! <laughs> you can change it, right? <laughs> How fitting. Why is, oh, your apple. Oh, your <laughs> apple! Nice. Okay, y'all ready? We yeah. like that the color of the rainbow. And also, if you're if you're dead as like a ghost, you can do tasks too to help the crewmates win. What? What do you have to say for yourself? Oh no! I'm officially 23 years old with little Hampson. Hampson. Hampson, I'm 23. I'm 23 right now. Clearly doesn't care. Happy birthday to me! Alright, I think it's time to sleep. Because we got work tomorrow. We ain't, we ain't relaxing on our birthday. No, no, no. It's time to work. Good night. Good morning. Don't be fooled by my very warm outfit. It's still 90 plus something degrees where I live. I'm kind of blasting my AC a little bit colder just so I can wear my fall outfit for a little bit before I have to take it off because it's getting really hot. I spent literally the entire morning, it's around 2 now, so maybe like noon too. I spent the half of my day replying to DMs and comments and just like responding to people because everyone's wishing me a happy birthday and I just feel super loved and grateful for all of you. And it makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. And the rest of the day, I have to finish painting my gallery piece, which I was talking about last week. Um, I haven't started it yet and I need to mail it out today. So I have to do that. Um, also, Ever since I got my hair cut short, 
it's made me want to experiment more with like I guess fashion I can't even call it fashion because I don't even know what I'm doing but I've been wanting to get more into clothing and like in general just making myself look better um, or more unique in a way because usually like in college and high school you're always wearing the same thing you're wearing t-shirts and jeans and even though I went to an art school I felt like what I wore was just comfortable like everything my fashion taste for the past 23 years of my life has been like very comfortable fashion um, it's very easy and like go-to like grab-and-go type of fashion because I've always had to be somewhere on time. I've had to like go to school on time, go to my part-time job on time, uh, go to my full-time job that I was at. And when I did start working in my office job, I was wearing very plain colors. Like I would explain my taste as like a grayscale most of the time. Um, the only color I have in my outfits are like t-shirts. And there's nothing wrong with t-shirts, it's just I need to learn how to accessorize it so it doesn't look like I'm super lazy all the time. Especially when I go out and meet friends, I feel like they're always dressed up super nicely and I'm just kind of casually walking around. So some of the people that I admire their like outfits would be like best dressed. I also really like Annabelle, cat creatures outfits because her looks are just so unique and so different from what you usually see. It's like very color block style and she was a textile major in college so I was really inspired by like all the different colors she's like evolved her fashion into and I personally am not really brave with fashion. I my personality growing up was blend in, don't like don't draw attention to yourself, don't like wear bright red, literally wear like the most dull color so no one like spots you. But now I'm thinking like I'm a creative and why am I limiting my fashion to how scared I am of appearing to other people? Um, why don't I gear it more towards what I like? And I don't know, I, for a long time I always saw like a discrepancy between my art and my choice of like how I present myself. Like you can clearly see this in my personal Instagram where everything is very like washed out. It's not very colorful, not very vibrant. And all of a sudden you go to my Instagram art page and it's just full of pastels and cute colors and everything's just bubbly. So I want to try to find a way to implement more color, patterns, textile, whatever it is into my fashion. And so for my birthday, I was thinking about buying myself this $100 sweater and this $60 shirt from, um, I forgot their name, but I found them through, I think Paloma mentioned them inside of one of her vlogs and I also noticed that Stephanie Sue was wearing their stuff, but they have these beautifully knit pattern cardigans that are very like expressive and super beautiful. So I kind of wanted to treat myself to one of those pieces or two of those pieces. And the thing is like, I already have a lot of clothes that I could mix and match to make more fun. Um, I just need to test it out and not be scared. And I think it's also because summertime, it gets really, really, really hot. So I can't wear double layers like this, um, like how Best Dress always does, because it's freaking hot. Like I literally would wear my bra and underwear when I'm not filming because it's just, it's way too hot here. But I'm really excited that fall's coming. I'm really hoping that the, the temperature drops soon so I can layer up and kind of look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's just been going on in my brain. But yeah, thank you for all the birthday wishes and all the um, orders you guys ordered from my shop. I'm really grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my god, Betty just sent me such a cute message mixed in with like the most wholesome, cutest memes I've ever seen. So I got my stickers, which means I can finally start preparing for my shop update. Um, now the rush really begins because I have to photograph everything. I have to design packaging for the uh, prints because they're like a set of prints. So I have to do that. I have to upload everything on Etsy, make the listings, schedule all the Instagram and social media posts. So it's gonna be a crazy rush in the next following of weeks. <gasps> Q! 
cute. Wow. Oh my god, I can't wait to try these. These are my glow-in-the-dark stickers. And they're just little campfires. And I've never made glow-in-the-dark stickers. So these look really cool. Oh, Maybe tonight I can try one out. But I'm really excited for these. <gasps> these turned out really cute too. These are the little flower ones. I just chose my favorite illustration out of the five or yeah the five i have and i made it into stickers so it can go along with the little print packs but i also ordered extra in case people just wanted to buy the stickers I have everything i need now i'm supposed to finish up my painting today which i haven't even started and it's like 4 p.m because i was spending the whole day messing around with my outfit Ugh! i can't wear this anymore it's too hot I need to change back into my hobo clothes. Yay, comfy clothes. to my watercolor paper.
just finished this piece and I'm actually really really happy with how it turned out um, I went into this thinking that it would turn out really bad and when I usually do big paintings like this especially like very intricate ones it's all about the process and usually I'm not satisfied with it at all until like the last final touches and so I'm always very very stressed to make pieces like this so I'm kind of glad that it turned out good now I need to rush and mail this off because it's supposed to be in the gallery's hand by the 5th I believe and I'm gonna express ship this over because I don't want it to not be able to make it in the show I was originally gonna do the tiny flower pieces to go along with it but I don't have time so this is my one and only piece um, which I'm glad that I only stuck with one piece because if I rushed myself to finish like multiple pieces this one probably wouldn't have come out the way I wanted it might have looked too rushed so I'm glad I took my time on this and I hope I hope it does well I hope people react well to this I just used acrylic inks for the background for a wash which I was really scared about because when I put on uh, I think it's this pencil I, I used this pencil um, to sketch it out onto it and when it touched water it literally like brushed the, the graphite all over the whole thing so it was looking very gray and I was kind of getting really disheartened I didn't know if it was going to turn out okay but actually like after I colored everything in the background actually looks more saturated than I thought it would be so I don't want to part with it. Maybe I should make more art like this. But also when I make art like this, my workstation, my entire house is just a mess because there's color pencils everywhere, postcard markers everywhere, paint, everything. I'm very proud of myself because I made this uh, rigid mailer myself like this actually was mailed to me in like a larger envelope size like it was maybe half its size bigger and I cut it and made it a smaller envelope and I reused this envelope too because I'm trying to find use for things before I toss it it's late but suddenly I felt like I wanted to be a workaholic again so I'm trying to design packaging for uh, my postcard set not really postcard set, they're not really A6 size but this is what I have so far it's just like a craft paper with a stamped text saying floral and with some other stamps next to it and the little stickers right here too so it just kind of fits there and it looks pretty professional if I can say so for myself I, w I tried out like this white baggy design where I just kind of placed it inside and I was thinking of doing like a stapled paper but like you can't even see what's inside of it so I just ended up doing this and I think this is so much cuter I think I might package all of these right now <laughs>
Wow, I finished packaging all of my miniature prints and I have all of it laid out, all my shop update stuff. Let me show you this, okay? Let me charge it first. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Okay, wait. Let me make it darker. Whoa. Guess what I got in the mail? I got October sticker sheets for Patreon. Patron. So can't say that. Right? Oh my god, these are so cute. Oh my goodness. This is the sticker sheet. Wow. Okay, wait, let me get it. Let me get the post. Look, 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 look. So this is the October print for the patrons and the back is this really nice red and I really like how dark it is for like October spooky vibes and then I have the little sticker sheet that I made for Patreon Look at all the cute little stickers! I am so freaking excited and I'm so glad it came today because literally I have to make the post tomorrow and came one time if you'd like one of these Please support me on Patreon. Thank you. I'm just chilling watching Cheyenne Barton's Twitch stream and I just made some story posts for when I have my shop update. I have this one, this one, and this one. Just wanted to showcase like the different things I have in my store and those flowers really came in handy for all of my pictures. Like it's so fall themed and it matches everything so well. Like I I just love that. I love how it looks on flowers. I just finished making all my story posts and my Instagram posts for both my shop update and my Patreon update. I think it's time to eat cake. I don't know how I'm gonna finish this entire cake by myself but maybe I should just pretend it's like Lucky Charms or something which is stamp on the word of the prompt. I think this just kind of really finalizes the piece. It's October 1st. Oh, 
Oh no! Okay, I need to fill it in myself. I kind of messed up. daily drawings I'm doing for October. I've only done two so far. So I have this one. Um, my favorite scent is freshly done laundry. And I have this one, which is a bat. And I'm following three prompts right now. I'm doing the Mintober, the Mize to something, I forgot the whole tag. And then I'm also gonna do the Peachtober one by Fairy Little Peach. And also, if you want to get a random one of these in the mail, I opened a lot more slots for our Patreon. I'm gonna just take my uh, daily October drawings and throw them in there for the $50 and $65 tier. Also, P.S. My shop update is coming soon of these lanyards. It's gonna be on Saturday, so you guys will have already seen it on Instagram or somewhere. I'm gonna have some uh, of these print packs and I'm also gonna have these little glow-in-the-dark stickers. So if you wanna love me and support my shop and everything I do, the links are in the description. Bye, please like, subscribe, and whatnot, and comment, and wow, I look like a zebra. Okay, bye. bye.